Hi, my name is Peter Newton. I work for MPSCS out of the Rockford shop. I maintain the towers, our radio sites, the grounds, the HVAC, and the generator. Hi, I'm Nate Salzger. I work for MPSCS out of Rockford, Michigan. We're gonna go over a tower PM with you. Go on a little adventure. So first off, before we get on the tower, we're going to look into the equipment. And our equipment that we're climbing with is our safety harnesses. This keeps us alive and takes us home for dinner, you know, after we've done our job. So we're going to go over here. This is a standard safety harness, and we just do a visual inspection, make sure we have all the tools we need on the tower to keep us safe on the tower. And Pete's belt's pretty good. We just went over this the other day, but every time you climb, you should do a safety inspection on your equipment. When we get a game plan, we look at the height of the dish, what azimuth it's pointing at, and what tower it's pointing to. So prior to going up the tower, we need to get the information on all the dishes and antennas so that we just have an archive of what we have in stock and keep serial numbers up to date. After we get all that information, we get a game plan of how we're gonna attack the job. Tower quarterly inspections, basically you're walking around the shelter and as you're walking around the shelter, checking it for its quarterlies, you're also looking at the tower itself, making sure there's nothing flapping in the wind, looking up the tower, making sure nothing's hanging off dishes, antennas, uh, sometimes the safety climb does come out and that you have to plan that and schedule a time to climb it to get it put back in. You know, always inspect the ice bridge. That you can do when you're doing a shelter PM as well or a shelter uh, quarterly. Make sure there's no damage to the cables that go from the tower to the building's bulkhead. Always verify if the tower's plumb. Make sure nothing's rattling, make sure nothing's shaking. Uh, test alarms for the lights when you're down on the ground. Pete and I are going up today. We're going to get up to a certain height and I'm going to go one way. Pete's going to go up to a certain height and he's going to go another way and then we'll meet back up on the safety climb. Now in this case we're doing a self-supporter today so to get that information <laughs> we have to cross the X. So we're going to be going from the climbing face which has the safety cable which this hooks to we're gonna hook another safety up and we're going to actually cross the X to get to the other leg we will have to do this mul multiple times on this job there are nine dishes on this tower so to get that done that all goes with the game plan and get to the top to get all the antennas and the other two dishes at the top of this job. And hopefully we have a good smooth day. So we're checking for loose dishes, giving them a shake, checking loose nuts and bolts, spray the nuts and bolts that are rusted with Colgelv. We always check the 7800 antennas for stability and uh, I always take a picture of the antenna, the height and the connection making sure the weatherproofing is good and if any lights need work on them we would do the work or set up a date if we didn't have parts. Uh, but you are opening the boxes of the lights to verify that there is no rust or water build up inside and tightness of cable and getting the date code and everything off of it. And we write all this information by the serial number and we take a picture. Most of it, when you're on the tower, you have to just pay attention. 
you know, paint what you can if it's rusted. Give the dishes a shake. Make sure all nuts and bolts are tight on the antenna and dish mounts. And uh, use your best judgment. Get the plan together before you go up so you already know what's going on in your head. You have a mind's eye of what you're going to do. And uh, make sure your buddies know what you're doing and where you're going. Sometimes we do this by ourselves. Self-supporters, typically we go up with two people. Guy wires, we uh, do by ourselves. So make sure you have comms, you do a radio check, make sure everything's good, and uh, be safe. That's number one key. Number one, be safe. It's a lot of work, but that's a tower PM in a nutshell. You gotta make it fun, communicate with your coworkers. You get it done.